All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and the Trials meta has really been shifting lately, and it's actually really exciting to see and to cover. I like when the sandbox changes. I like when we see the ways of old change. I mean, you may not be the biggest fan of fusion rifles, but they certainly have become way more popular, and they're definitely disrupting the pellet shotgun meta. And in fact, the pellet shotgun meta has almost completely left the top 10 altogether, which arises a variety of other different shotguns special ammo weapons you name it and of course the beloved hand cannon meta is seemingly slipping from the charts and that's what we're going to be talking about today so let's go ahead and do a quick uh, overview of what we got here first up we have week one uh, void 3.0 with endless veil we can see we've got the main ingredient is number one we've got the pound drum adept and this is obviously the the first trials week that came out after void 3.0 so we got the big changes of of course all the void 3.0 insanity with with Axion bolts and stuff like that. Ice Luna, the last word. The Summoner auto rifle is in there, probably due to uh, popularity and it being new, um, a new resurge in popularity uh, for a weapon that had been gone for so long. Uh, the Ace of Spades is in here. The Chaperone, the Fun Web, the Messenger, the Le Monarch. Those are the final results of uh, Endless Veil vale in Trials. Now let's go on to week two, and we go up to the map is Javelin Four. Uh, my most favorite uh, Destiny 2 map. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Trials map is. Uh, we've got the main ingredient is number one. Again, we've got the Palindrome, the IS Luna, followed by the Ace of Spades. Then the Peace of Mind squeaks in there. We hadn't seen this in the first week, but it squeaks in there, and it actually goes up the charts pretty high. And then it's followed up by the Messenger, the Last Word, the Summoner, the Crimson, and the Le Monarch. Moving on to the next week, which was uh, last week, uh, which is Midtown, and that's when we had a much bigger map. So, of course, a little more rangy weapons are going to stand out when we have a bigger map. Peace of Mind, the number one most used weapon. If you saw the previous Trials meta report, you're probably astounded by that, and you're like, hey, it's time to go craft this bad boy. Let's get to the war table. Let's craft this Peace of Mind. I gave you that complete God Roll guide in that last video, so I'm not going to do that again in this video, but keep in mind, you know, you can literally craft the God Roll, which is really nice for... Um, a, a 540 RPM, which is a, a really strong archetype in and of itself. Then we have the Messenger, the main ingredient, still right at the top. The Le Monarch raises all the way up to number four, which is a bit scary. The Palindrome, the Ice Luna, the Dead Man's Tail is in there. The last word, Ace of Spades, no time to explain. Nothing too crazy, and we are on a much bigger map. But now let's get into last week's trials and go over the data from that, because this is definitely, this is really interesting, all right? We have a map that's not nearly as big as Midtown, we have the burnout right burning shrine from d1 the burnout in d2 and still look at this the peace of mind is the number one primary ammo weapon used now myself personally i was using a 120 rpm to make up for the range of when you go in on a side when you're shooting towards the mid you want a little more of a rangey weapon so i felt like the 120s were really really strong i made a video talking about the true prophecy it's like a hidden meta not a lot of people are using it it's literally not in the top 10 um it was really, really good, and I think it could compete, if not do better things, than even potentially the peace of mind, especially if you're peak shooting properly. But that's not in the top 10, and that's not what we're here to talk about. The peace of mind, the number one most used weapon two weeks in a row, and this time it's on a mid-sized map. Again, you can craft this bad boy, you can craft a crazy god roll. People are using this, people are loving this. Uh, this thing is extremely lethal, and this is the it weapon of Trials season 16 the peace of mind in my opinion that and the the main ingredient which i guess the two go hand in hand because you can rock the peace of mind and the main ingredient at the same time so maybe that's why it fits so well in the meta charts here the palindrome is the number two weapon now, obviously that was recently uh nightfall loot last week so perhaps a lot of people getting the palindrome or refreshing their memory of the palindrome but uh either way it still did extremely good with number two placement Number three is main ingredient. Number four is the messenger. The Shire's Wrath Adept is number five. Now, I'm going to also say this is due to popularity of the bug. If you didn't know, there was a Passage of Confidence bug where you could get the card. And if you got to seven wins through however many losses, once you got to seven wins, every win you got after that, you had a very high chance of it just dropping Adept loot. So it was a bugged passage that they're fixing. And uh, I think because of that, you saw a lot more people playing this weekend grinding it out it had 409,000 players last weekend which is pretty impressive uh so i think that's why the i think that's why the shire's wrath is number five then we've got the le monarch slipping down the charts a little bit but still really high up there then we have the is luna the last word 
the Crimson hangs in there and the Ace of Spades. Nothing too surprising to see there. But definitely pretty crazy to see that we are in a proper Pulse Rifle meta. And the, the king of Pulse Rifles right now is the peace of mind. This thing shreds in PvP. This is melting faces, flinching people like crazy, doing all the crazy Pulse Rifle things. We have seen Pulse Rifle metas in the past. Um, name a few of them in the comments if you can remember them. But I can remember looking back in the D1 days. Does anyone remember the Hawksaw meta? And then there was another, the Clever Dragon. Anyone remember that one back in D1? Oh, man. And there's been a variety of different Pulse Rifles throughout time. I think there's even like a Bad Juju meta at one point in time. And Destiny 2 has had a whole slew of different metas. And I know a lot of people will be salty when certain weapons they don't like are the meta. But I think what Bungie tends to do is they mix up the sandbox by gradually increasing the strength of different archetypes and gradually decreasing the strength of others. So that way it's not just hand cannon shotgun, hand cannon shotgun, hand cannon shotgun, hand cannon shotgun forever. As you can see here, Bungie has done, whether you love it or hate trials right now, Bungie has done a good job to filter out the pellet shotguns from the meta right now. We're looking at four full weeks of trials in the Witch Queen, and I can't see one single pellet shotgun in here, which is pretty crazy, right? Not one pellet shotgun in here. You do see the slug shotguns, um, I don't see a Lord of Wolves in here, although I will say that more and more people are starting to realize that it is really strong. Uh, so maybe that'll make it into the charts eventually. Obviously, you're seeing a ton of main ingredient. I think the fusion rifles are kind of the go-to now that the pellet shotguns are pretty well finito and so inconsistent that not a lot of people want to use them. But that is going to be a wrap on this week's Trials Meta Report. Let me know your thoughts about that. Peace of mind being the king of Crucible currently. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What role are you using? Post that down in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe with notifications on. If you did enjoy, smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.